<laughs> Last question for you, bro. Mm. You're gonna miss me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, how do you feel about going on to college? I am excited. A lot of people have said that it was going to be um, scary, confusing, uh, nerve-wracking. I, I, I haven't felt any of those yet. I don't think I will. I'm, I'm just excited. Do you think um, Do you think that you're ready? Like Yes. Even moving away from home, like, how do you feel about moving away from home? Um, and being away for, like, such a long time, I guess four years. It'll be weird not sleeping in my own room. I feel like I'm going to miss my room a lot because I spend 40 hours a day in there. 40 hours a day? 40 hours a day in there. <laughs> 40 so, hours a day doing what? <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that's so, the answer to the question. So, mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I feel like going to college, it's like you're expanding. Your home just gets bigger. So you meet new people. Um it's it's like college or it's like high school where obviously you got to focus on your grades but i'm excited to meet people like i think that's the most exciting thing for me and i was talking to demi about the the food at the cafeteria i get to go in there and eat whenever mm-hmm. i get hungry so I don't mean. No, but okay. um <laughs> meeting people i feel like that'll be fun i get to establish my new friend group just go out and talk to people and have fun um Aside from, you know, like the college orientations and, and things like that that they have you do in the first few days, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, first, you know, kickoff, um, first football game, first basketball game, whatever they're doing, I want to go to those. Um, haven't thought about sports. I don't know if I'm going to do sports, but I do need to do clubs and stuff like that, like I said, in my freshman year in order to pay for my sophomore year. Um, I... I completely trust myself in grades. I slept a little bit during quarantine, but I feel like that's because I had a general disinterest in high school. Like the last year and a half, I was just didn't feel like doing it. Obviously I could have done it because it's it's easy work. It's just tedious and kind of boring, but high school, I want to be there. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason for me to like not get my work done. So again, easy getting my work done shouldn't be a problem. It's just, on top of that, I'm there to have fun. So I get to meet people, talk to new people, have okay. fun. So right now you've got this big expectation, or not even expectation, but I guess a um, an idea, a, pers- a perspective or an idea of what school is, going off to college, what it is in your head, and what if it's not like that at all? Like what if it is completely different from what you think it is right now? It depends on what aspect of it, or what aspect of what it if, what that has changed in my head. What if you're not having as much fun because you have to focus on grades what if you're not making any friends at all i'm gonna make friends but if it's like if i if i'm too busy working on school to go out and have the fun that i'm planning on having then it's it's got to be that for my freshman year so if if i have to focus just on school to make it back next year then i have to focus just on school um obviously i'm i'm hoping it's not going to be that i should be able to carry you know, my social life and my academic life at the same time. But if I can't, I have to focus on school. What if you have to spend less time, not even just on your social aspect, but less time on working on your own business, your own YouTube and everything, and you have to focus on grades and you have way, like, you have to cut down your hours, like, drastically. How would you feel about that? That I'm pretty much expecting. Like, if in order of priority it goes school, social life and then i do want to keep working on my business but i'm not going to be holed up in my room 40 hours a day again just playing games um i do want to do that to continue because again making money off of that i get paid and not having a job in my freshman year getting income is important to me that i'm not broke um especially going to a place where everybody is going to have no money or little money so I do want to keep doing that, but I'm willing to cut back hours in order to focus on school and meeting and talking to people and having fun. And in, in going off with what you just said, saying like you would be, you think you would be fine, you know, cutting down your hours, but that was just for school. That's not, not even talking about having a job. So how do you think? How, I guess I guess my my next question is, how would the people who support you feel? You talking about subscribers? Mm-hmm. 
um, ideally they'll understand. Like I've been talking to them about it for a few weeks, a few months. Like, hey guys, I'm going off to school. Obviously, I'm not going to have as much time to get you know content out as I normally do. Um, and a lot of them have been supportive, and they've reached out, and they'll be like, "Yes, we understand. You're going to be a lot more, or you're going to be a lot busier than you've always got that one guy who's like, where have you been? You know, it's been mm -hmm. two hours since you uploaded. It's like, I'm not going to be there all the time. So obviously, I'm going to be working on school. Eventually, sophomore year, you're going to have a job. I'm going to be doing club stuff. So I can't be in front of my Xbox all day like I used to be able to. Mm -hmm. um, so ideally, again, they'll understand that I cannot be putting things out as often as I used to. So Now, with personally one of my favorite YouTubers, Corey Kenshin, mm -hmm. you know, he went away for nine months to deal with whatever his problems were and came back. Came back and he gained like a whole bunch of new subscribers. He went up to eight mil. All right. Then he disappeared again. He's not posting anymore. Like he left again mm -hmm. without saying a word. And now after that, I just unfollowed and I, I unsubscribed. Like it, I, cause it's just too much of a expectation. Like just for someone to come back and leave again. I don't want to keep doing that. Like even though I, I love his content, it's just the, I guess the um, the expectations of someone coming back and then leaving again is just not really hurt, but like I guess like you just expect too much. And so what if how would you feel if your people are doing the same thing and they leave? That wouldn't bother me that much. I mean, if they left because I was doing something that would better me financially and you know academically, that that's not my problem. That's your business though. It's my business, but if they leave because i'm at school that's not i feel like that's not what a supporter would do mm -hmm. you know if i'm at school trying to better myself you know academically financially i'm trying to better myself socially and somebody leaves because i can't sit in my front of my game for hours a day then that's not my problem because you know i know my supporters who have reached out and said hey i've been here since you first started that's the person that i support you know that's the person that supports me and i respect that um, I don't expect people to sit there waiting for me all the time. I know people unsubscribe. I know people leave, but it wouldn't bother me. I mean, I, I look at it and be like, okay, so I've been gone for a while. Obviously, numbers are going to go down a little bit, but I can bring it back up once I get active again. And still, I'll be able to work on it anytime, you know, that I have free time, that I'm not doing anything. Say I'm just chilling in my room. I have my stuff with me so that I can do that, you know, maybe an hour every few days i'll be able to work on it so i'll still be not as active but i'll still be there okay <laughs> last question for you bro mm. you're gonna miss me <laughs> <laughs> um i'm gonna i'm gonna definitely miss my um okay <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I miss my room. You know, it's it's real. It's it's nice. Mm -hmm. Your my, room is next to my that, room. That's my that's my new closet, by the way. It's close. Mm -hmm. my, to my new, my new walk in closet. Are you gonna miss me? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna have to see. You're kind of toxic. <laughs> You're toxic. You're kind of toxic. Get away from here. Come here. Don't come here, Mikey. I don't want none of that. Give him that love. No, I don't want none of that. I'll miss you too, bro. Get away from me.